it's an honor and a great privilege to read <coughs> Mamie Gimbel's poem, In Search of Serenity. I look into his eyes, devoid of recognition, recalling their fluid warmth, a gentleness which said, so long as we have each other, all will be right in our world. I touch his hand, he flinches, his arms flail as if to strike me. I search for a semblance of the man I loved, who took my children and made them ours, but no trace remains. His once athletic body, of which he was proud, is skeletal. He sits in his recliner, wearing a robe purchased for our honeymoon 43 years earlier. It falls open. This once modest man is unperturbed. So many memories of travel to exotic places, of dinners in the comfort of our own home. I am blessed to have these memories buried deep in my being. He no longer cherishes memories. In their place is rage. I am the enemy, not Alzheimer's disease, which robbed him of his humanness. I wonder, would death be preferable to this living vacuum? As if in answer, he is diagnosed with lung cancer. I always promised to keep him home. With the caring support of hospice, my promise was kept. After his death, I joined a grief group. Unlike other members, grieving was not possible. All I felt was anger for so many stolen years. With his passing, his pain passed. Milt found his peace. Today, so have I. Thank you. Beautiful. I don't know about you guys, but I just got chills on that one. That is absolutely beautiful. Uh, Didi Brinkham? Brinkman.